Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful sound of the Aventador SV Roadster. I have a really big announcement which I'm super excited for. Morning guys, today is a spontaneous video yet again. I wasn't planning on filming, but then I thought if I'm covering the whole ownership experience for you guys of the Lotus, I might as well cover it. Look what's back. The McCann has been driven down here by my parents who have come to spend a couple of days in the house. Unfortunately, just as they get here, I'm flying to Geneva tonight. We'll get to all of that later, but this is what's in the garage right now. We got the Twizy in there and the Lotus, and today the Lotus is actually going in for its break-in service. Break-in service means between 1500 and 2500 kilometers, the car needs to go in to have its uh, oil change and just overall checked over so that afterwards you can start taking it to tracks and start properly sort of really uh, pushing the car. Whereas for now, I still need to be slightly careful. I don't need to be as careful as when it was brand new, but I still need to be a bit careful. So I've booked in the break in service. I'm going to take it to the Lotus dealer. Conveniently, there's one just down in Monaco. I'm going to take it to them. Then I got a bunch of meetings in town. And then after that, I think I'm going to meet up with Rana with his Aventador before heading off to Geneva. So that's the plan. Wow, it's dark right here yeah I think we should uh, we should probably get started let's get into the car well okay we're in the car now and probably going to be a bit of a morning cold start so what I have to do in order to get the cold start properly see there there's a button now before I start it, if I press that it opens the exhaust valve so that when I start the car the valves stay open and don't shut straight away <laughs> There you go, that's the morning start. It's not all that loud, when you do a normal start it kind of revs it out a bit more, but it does sound pretty good. Anyway, I should uh, I should hit the road. This car I've just checked now has 1,905 kilometers, so we're nearly at 2,000. Let me switch the valves off so you can hear me better. Um, yeah, nearly 2,000 kilometers, which, considering that when I look for the cars that are for sale, there aren't any with over 500 kilometers. So this may well be now the highest mileage Exige 380 in the world. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm planning on putting many, many more miles on it. I'm almost borderline daily driving it at the moment. So yeah, it's definitely gonna have many more miles put onto it. Right now, I know the guys at Lotus were surprised when I told them I was already, already coming for the break-in period a service. They were pretty surprised. So, I'm excited to see um, sort of what else they have at the dealership in terms of cars, and then just where this day brings us. Again, it's one of these sort of unplanned, I know I've got meetings and stuff, but filming-wise unplanned days and we'll just improvise and see where it goes. Also, the reason I'm going to Geneva is because Sam, Paul, Archie, James and I are going to be driving down from Annecy. They're driving from London to Annecy, first of all, which I'm not joining them for. But after that, we are all driving down from Annecy in France, very close to Geneva, to Monaco. They've all got their cars. I'm not going to drive my car back up there because it's still going to be in the service center. But I've got something very, very special that I'm going to be taking delivery of for the drive. Uh, not my car, a loner, but trust me, you're going to want to see this because it is pretty special and something I've been working on for a long, long time. So I'm super excited to go pick that up in Geneva tomorrow. Uh, you guys will be able to see the video as well. And yeah, it should be really, really good fun. So I'm excited for Geneva. I'm excited for the drive down. And I'm excited for this car to have its service so that during top marks and the drive after it, I can properly enjoy it. To open the valve back up and have a good time. We've now made it up to the casino square. And I think normally we've, by the way, fast forwarded about five hours. I've been in meetings, which went really well. Really, really exciting stuff coming to you guys. But now, if I look ahead of me, there should be some sort of yellow Lambo. So if I click, and like magic, we now have a yellow Aventador SV Roadster. Runner, the owner whose uh, Instagram will be down below, is very kindly going to take me for a ride. This is his other car, R8 Spider, just chilling here. But it'd be rude not to get into the car, so let's hop in. We've decided that it would uh, it would not be right to drive this car with the roof on, so we're taking the roof off, which goes in the front. So you just take these two panels off, like so. That gets whipped off, and then it goes around front, into the front there. Just nips in down there. The boot's actually not as bigger than in the Hurricane. Now, let's just head to take some photos. Nice carbon doors as well. Which need a proper little slam. Oh, Aventador never gets old though. It's hard to be discreet with an Aventador, so quite a few people are around. Oh, start up. I like that. I like that. Straight into sport runner nose. <laughs> so yeah, fun fact I've always noticed, this is the only real storage place in the SV. 
where you can literally only put your phone on that side over here there's not really anything uh, and there is no glove box either so not much storage in here it's like the walking dead with all these people like walking like zombies around the car no car attracts more attention basically than Aventador's wow look at this what's going on here we got what looks like almost like a Scaris but are they radicals there's one radical over there these must be prior to top marks actually very very cool looking cars guess where we are guys in the usual spot nice little cruise over it's starting to drizzle a tiny bit so we're gonna see what's happening we're gonna try and call a couple more friends see if they can show up with some cars I've got what time is it I've got like another two hours or something before I need to go home pack my bags and head to the airport for a very very exciting weekend ahead you have to watch the next videos to see what's happening I can't tell you about it yet it's a surprise I'm just super super excited but anyways let's hop out of this car and I'll give you a little tour it's not every day you're up close and personal with an Aventador SV Roadster so I thought I'd show you around stats on this car 500 roadsters world ride and you get a little plaque right in here which tells you Undi 500 which means one of 500 and then I believe there were 600 um, coupes made so the roadster 500 and coupes 600 this one's finished in the beautiful Lamborghini yellow and things that are different on this compared to the normal one are that front splitter there with these air vents which is much more aggressive um, so before the SV came out it was interesting actually because there were so many tuners like DMC and people like that who are tuning it so it was always interesting to see what um, Lamborghini would come up with you then got these different side skirts right here new center locking wheels which in this case are finished in gloss black which look very very nice full carbon pack on this one so you've got carbon down here these are new on SV only uh, these air vents which normally in the normal Aventador are just there and in the new Aventador S come up uh, these are full carbon fiber you got this glass uh, engine bay right there which is actually the same as the normal Aventador Roadster a new wing which is interestingly front mounted which looks very very cool actually um, and is absolutely massive as well full carbon fiber and then there's all of the rear diffuser which is new with these quad exhaust tailpipes which look very nice compared to the singular one that you have in the Aventador and then that is the beast right there so 750 correct horsepower from the naturally aspirated V12. You guys know this makes one of the most amazing sounds ever. We'll show you that in a second. I think it looks very cool. This right here is actually an option as well to have the SV written on the side. God knows how much that costs, but I can tell you it's probably more than an ice cream. And then on the inside, you have these beautiful full carbon fiber seats, which look really nice with all of the yellow detailing on them. Some of my favorite seats, they're not, not the most comfortable ones in the world, but they do look very cool. So, you know, you've got to sacrifice. Little SV logo down there full carbon fiber all alcantara cheeky bit of leather on the front dashboard and just overall a really really nice place to be this one's got all of the carbon fiber on the center console on the dash cover and on the doors here which has actually been ppf by topaz in this case and uh, you really want that because you can often knock yourself it's a lot easier to get in to than the uh, lotus but yeah, overall very very cool car also holding its value very well so absolutely love this and Rana whose Instagram is down below as I said uses this car a lot which is really cool to see that it's not just locked up in a collection and it's actually getting used anyways I think we should uh, we should try and hear it urgent times call for urgent measures we are going to put the roof on because you probably can't see it but it is uh, it's raining quite a bit ladies and gentlemen welcome to the beautiful sound of the Aventador SV Roadster <laughs> This noise is just pure genius what they've done. Look who's here! It's Mr. Donze093. Oh, 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 we're gonna get a running running jump out of the car. <laughs> well, I would love to stay here because there are other friends who are gonna join later, but I need to now leave to Geneva. So I'm gonna have to uh, get into, I think my father's gonna come pick me up in the Porsche Macan. I'm gonna drive up and then we're flying over to Geneva. I'm probably not gonna end the vlog now. I'm gonna end it on the way to Geneva because uh, there's a few little things I really wanna tell you as well. It's time to uh, close the door first and now go to the airport. You know how it's always that last minute rush to get to the airport and off we go towards Geneva. Oh, you joined me now in the airport. I don't have too, too, too much time to do this because they've just called my flight. I managed to make it here in time, but I have a really big announcement which I'm super excited for. 
You've probably seen that over the last couple of weeks I asked you guys to send in applications to come and come along on adventures with me and be an editor for some of my videos. I got hundreds of hundreds of applications so thank you so much to all the people who sent their things in because it was absolutely unbelievable to chat with some of you, see some of your work and just in general be able to communicate with you and finally I'm actually being able to find someone who is behind the camera right now and we are going to be going on our first adventure together. So. For now, we're going to keep a bit of a mystery and he's, you know, he's going to be helping with most of the editing and all of the behind the scenes stuff and tomorrow's video, which is with a really exciting subject, which I can't wait to show you guys, will be completely edited by him and you'll be able to comment on that video what you think of the style, what you think of the shooting and all this stuff. So it's our first trip we're going on together. We've spoken about this loads and we've been in contact for a while, but I will keep it a bit of a mystery, but effectively I loved uh, his style. He sent in a video video like everyone else and I love the style he worked with he was conveniently quite close to my house and just the filming the editing all worked really really well so we've decided to give this a go this trip to Geneva prior to Top Marks being our first sort of real experiment and sort of adventure together and I'm so excited to give it a go so I just wanted to let you guys know before you watch the next video that it will be edited by the new editor which I'm so excited about and on that jolly note I should probably go board my flight before I miss it and yeah so tomorrow's video is a big one very important for the channel and one I am really really excited for you guys to see so thank you for the support as always if you did send in an application and haven't heard from me there are still some I am going to send just small replies to just to say thank you and stuff like that but for now I am here working with my new editors behind the camera and I just can't wait so thank you as always guys for watching please remember to subscribe also today's shout out goes to Anna Han who's been commenting a bunch so thank you so much for that uh, notification squad as you know if you want your notification squad shout out you need to comment down below switch your bell on and comment notification squad anyways i'm going to stop blabbing on thank you so much for watching i'll see you for another video very very soon tomorrow in fact cheers guys oh, bye bye hey, yo. quick cap saying saturday in the mouth no julia